Whenever I feel timid or afraid of doing something, of putting myself on the line and risking failure, I turn to the poem The Joy of Life by the 20th century North American poet Burton Braley. Braley begins his poem with the following words. I'd rather risk gamely and lose for my trying than grind around tamely a cog in the mill. Braley reminds me of University of California psychologist Dean Simonton's work on highly successful people throughout history, specifically scientists and artists. What Simonton found was that the most successful artists and scientists, the likes of Michelangelo and Thomas Edison, were also those who had failed the most number of times, leaving behind more rough sketches of paintings or sculptures than other artists and more failed experiments than other scientists. Braley continues and writes, I'd rather fail greatly with courage undying than plod on sedately with never a thrill. Reading through Braley's poem can make failure seem inviting, easy to deal with, even charming perhaps. But as those who have failed in the past, and that includes me and probably you too, as we know, Failure can hurt a great deal. It's not fun, and there is rarely something that feels romantic or poetic about it. And yet, in his poem, Braisley does remind us that whether or not we like failure, it is a prerequisite for living life to its fullest, to fulfilling our potential for success and more. Being courageous does not imply not being afraid be it of the uncertainty associated with risk or the possibility of failure. To fail greatly is unpleasant for anyone and to fear failure is natural. You see, courage is not about not having fear. Courage is about having fear and going ahead anyway. The point that Braley is making is that the price of uncertainty that risk-taking exposes us to pales in comparison to the certain price we pay when we run away from risk. When we run away from the possibility of failure, we plod on sedately, in a comatose, half-dead state, without a thrill, without excitement. Braley notes that we become so obsessed with the outcome of our action, whether we succeed or fail, that we do not focus on the essence of life, which is the process, the journey. The games in the playing and losing or winning, the funs in essaying your bravest and best. Win or lose, the real source of joy lies in the journey, in playing the game, in trying our best. So embrace with both hands, with your entire self, the fun and the thrill that life can offer you. Think back to times when you experienced excitement. Write about a project you were involved in or an adventure you embarked on that excited you. It could have been while you were at work or on vacation, with your friends or alone. What can you learn about yourself or about the situation that can help you experience more excitement in the future? Commit to daring. Commit to taking action, to taking a risk, in an area that you perhaps were afraid to in the past. Where can you play and try your best, enjoying the excitement of the journey, even with no guarantee of arriving at your goal? In your calendar, record your commitment, a time and a place where you will experience the thrill and joy of life.